Hi and welcome along to AFTV. Now I had to do a video on this because Lauren Koscielny has left Arsenal Football Club official today. He is gone and um, I'm not too happy about this departure and I'm going to tell you why. Just before we get into that, there's also another thing I wanted to just discuss. Um, I want you to take a look at this uh, little short clip I'm going to play from 888 Sports. Again, these lot dissing Arsenal, saying that we're not going to make the top four this season. Take a look at it. Take a look at it. Top four. Oh, yeah. Bro, so every you year you lot want to look at me like say, oh, no, Tottenham aren't going to make it. You're Tottenham aren't going to make in. it. Bro, you're in. You're in. You're in. I'm, you're 100 in. we're in, fam. Because we don't sign no one, blood. You get me, yeah? And we're we're in there. So like now we've got Tangai in Dombele, on Don Bad so Boy, fam. You know what I mean? No, no, what no. a player. Like the way I see it is like the top four. It's normal. That's normal behaviour. It's open. It's open. It's, it's normal behaviour. Right, so you saw that. And what I want to just say about that is that I really do feel that if we can get a defender in before the end of this transfer window, that we could surprise some people. Everybody, they're doing it. They did the same last year. They're discounting Arsenal, saying that we've got no chance of getting into that top four, not even mentioning us. But I've got a sneaky feeling for us this season. But anyway... The main reason for this video is to talk about Lauren Koscielny. Lauren Koscielny today has left Arsenal Football Club. He has joined Bordeaux and um, he's joined Bordeaux on a deal that uh, Arsenal have pocketed £4.5 million. So well done to Arsenal because, of course, we know that Lauren Koscielny wanted to leave on a free transfer. He threw his toys out the pram, refused to go on the tour to America to force this move, and he's got his wish. Well, not quite his wish, because he wanted it on a free transfer, um, but we've got £4.5 million for him, which is not a massive amount of money. We wanted to get about £10 million, but he is 33 years, of old, 33 years of age, so I suppose we've got to take it on the chin. But what really incensed me about this was to see his video arriving at Bordeaux where, I don't know if you've seen it yet, where he pulls up, he's wearing an Arsenal shirt, he pulls the Arsenal shirt up over his head and reveals a Bordeaux shirt underneath. And I'm like, how disrespectful is this guy? How disrespect? I mean, that is a real disrespect to the club that made him, which is Arsenal Football Club. He's been at this club for nine years we made him captain. It, when he came here, he was absolutely nobody. No, no one knew who he was when he came. I remember when he first signed, and I was like, Koscielny, who's he? He came in, he had a, a bit of a hard time at first as well, but the fans stuck by him. You know, we all remember the League Cup final. We made that big error. error um, the mix-up between him and the keeper. Um, we didn't get on his back after that. And don't get me wrong, he's been a good defender down the years, but through Arsenal, he's come from a second division team in France, in Lorient, come to the Premier League, established himself as a, a centre-back for Arsenal, got into the French national team, very unfortunate to miss out on the World Cup due to injury. And throughout these injuries that he's had for Arsenal, and there's been many, many, many injuries, Arsenal have always stuck by him. Arsenal have never handled him badly and as I said they gave him the captaincy of the club and how does he repay Arsenal first of all refuses to go on the tour of our um, America throws his toys out of the pram whatever the problem was behind the scenes he could have done that in a different way and then now to rub salt into the wounds when he leaves the club this disrespectful video where he's pulling his shirt off an Arsenal shirt an old one not even a new one by Adidas the old one, and revealing a Bordeaux shirt. And I'm like, mate, you are disrespectful. I remember when I was in America and I was doing a Q&A and I said it at the time, I go, you know what? I don't want to see Lauren Koscielny in an Arsenal shirt again. And I remember there were some people um, afterwards, I was speaking to them at the Q&A, it's going, oh, Robbie, you're a bit harsh, you know? We didn't expect that of you, you know? Koscielny's been a great servant. And I said, listen, I said... He should be here in America on this tour. Whether he's disgruntled or not, he should be here on this tour. And he hasn't turned up. He hasn't come. And for me, it's unforgivable as the captain of the team. I mean, 
basically you're destabilizing the whole team at the moment. And he knew how things were at the time with the lack of transfers and that. And he didn't care. And he refused. There's even um, a lot of talk a couple of days ago that Arsenal offered to sit down with him and have some peace talks and that. He refused. Weren't interested. And the main reason for it is that he wanted to get this move. What we're being told is that he was promised under the old regime that he'd be able to get this move for free to Bordeaux. And I don't know what's been going on with the old regime. The amount of people that's got these free transfers and been able to walk away for nothing. The new guys have come in and they've said, no, we want money for you. If you're going to leave, we want money for you. Otherwise, you stay at the club and you play out your last season. Then you leave on a free at the end of that. Not Koscielny, threw his toys out of the pram and has forced his move to Bordeaux. And as I said, instead of just leaving and saying, you know, thank you, Arsenal, you go and do this disrespectful video. And listen, let's have it right, yeah? And no disrespect right now to any Bordeaux fans. I met a couple last week when I was over there in Angers in France. But he's not moved to Barcelona. He's not moved to Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, PSG. He's moved to Bordeaux. And you're going to disrespect a big club like Arsenal. And I'll tell you one thing. I just hope that Arsenal completely wash their hands of him. Because he's just thrown nine years of service down the drain, as far as I'm concerned. He's 33. His career is coming to an end. He might have a two, three seasons max at Bordeaux, maybe. With his injury record, who knows? It could be less. I, I hope not. I don't wish injuries on him. But we know with his injury record, it could even be less. Yeah? Then your career's over. Then what do you do? What happens then? Do you come back knocking on Arsenal's door? Oh, um, can I get an ambassador's role at Arsenal? I was there for nine years. Uh, is there any jobs there? Uh, coaching or anything I could do around, you know, any sort of Q&As? Listen, if he does come, I hope Arsenal slam the door straight in his face and say, yo, remember that video you did when you left? Remember how you treated Arsenal and the Arsenal supporters after you've been at the club for nine years and what, you want to come back and do stuff for us? I mean, I don't know who's advising this guy, right? But how, well, I don't get it. You spent nearly all your career at Arsenal. You made it into the French national team because of Arsenal and you're going to go and disrespect Arsenal Football Club like that. I think it's an absolute disgrace. And... Good riddance to Lauren Koscielny. I don't know if I'm being too harsh. I don't know if it's me. I'd love to get your opinions on it. Please jump in the comments and let me know how you feel about this. But this is how I feel about this. I feel pretty strongly about this. I just feel that this guy has totally and utterly disrespected Arsenal Football Club. I can understand. You know, if Mustafi left tomorrow and the amount of stick that he's been getting and he did something like that, I could understand it. He might be like, you know what? They they didn't like me. They really got on my case. But, but Koscielny, what's that about? How can you disrespect the club that made you? The club that made you. You're going to rip off the shirt and reveal another shirt. Absolute no class. And the thing is about it, Arsenal's such a classy club that they probably would still let him come back and do an ambassador role or, you know, work with a club. We, we've got that much class that we forgive him. But for me, I, I don't know. I, I, I just find it so, so disrespectful. And it's a shame because, you know, on the whole, when he was at Arsenal, he did his best for Arsenal. I'm not going to say that he ever, he, he never gave 100% right up until when he refused to go on the tour. He gave his best for Arsenal, but the way in which he's left the club, he has ruined his legacy at Arsenal Football Club. Ruined it. What do you guys think? This is in my opinion, by the way. This is my opinion. You may not share that opinion, and that's fair enough. This is just my opinion, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. Leave it in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out that link for that video. 
They're saying we ain't going to make the top four. I'm sorry. I, I've got a good feeling about Arsenal this season. Get that defender in, especially now that Shoney's gone. We've definitely got to get that defender in. Get that defender in and, you know, let's have a whole new era with defenders. Let's get rid of all these idiots, man. Ah, it's got me annoyed. <laughs> it's got me annoyed, right? So let me know. Leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to check out that link to 888 Sport. But Koscielny has left the building. And let's hope he don't come back.